I thought I'd do a quick video to explain how to repair the Vestel 17 IPS 12 power supply board. My DigiHome TV went wrong and started making a chirping noise, a bit like there was a dead cricket inside it. That was caused by the power supply which was shutting down due to the fact that it was seeing a dead short on its output because an FET had gone short circuit. And indeed this FET had gone short circuit because uh, D107 had also gone short circuit so the transistor was trying to pump uh, power into a capacitor which was um, effectively a dead short because it was uh, the diode was short circuit too. Now this part of the circuit drives the LEDs like the television backlight and they have a boost voltage so it um, increases the voltage from, in my case, about 30 volts up to 90 volts. I bought another power supply board off eBay and was intended to just fit that. It looked the same, but um, thankfully before it arrived I'd worked out that uh, this probably wouldn't work. There is a set of numbers on the board and they are actually quite important. There are various things that are different between sets, including the voltage and um, one will not necessarily work in another so you have to make sure the numbers are correct or repair the one that you've got which is, is what I decided to do um, from the diagram attached you can see the uh, component values of uh, the FET and the diode that had gone and um, it's uh, quite a simple circuit really um, but in the, in the drawing it shows the voltage has been 24 volts and in actually on mine it is 30 volts and the boost voltage is up at 90 volts um, and so there is a wide difference between them also the um, chip that controls the whole um, boost voltage thing has got uh, LED inputs from 1 to 4 and on some sets they're separate but on mine, uh, they are all shorted together with um, little shorting things which are on the board. So uh, again, if you did have a different board and it had the, set, the right voltage, you'd have to make sure that all the components on the reverse side were actually populated with the correct ones for your board, which is not easy. Um, but um, it, in many ways, it's easier just to repair the one you've got, which is what I did. So um, if you <coughs> see the attached components that I bought you just need to replace the diodes probably best to replace both and replace the FET um, and hopefully that will work again